but news is that the bodies of the slain policemen who were killed in Samburu have been flown into the Wilson Airport. Of course, people have been barred off uh, from getting into the landing zone and uh, the, there is also information that the government is taking the full cost of the burial of uh, the, the, the slain police officers, but that is just what we have currently. Catherine Omwantho is on the ground and will be briefing us as and when she gets more information from what is happening. But news is that the bodies of the slain policemen from Samburu has been, have been brought to uh, the Wilson Airport in Nairobi. What is happening right now, the helicopter has touched down and is carrying 24 bodies. And there's a lot of activity happening right now at the landing zone as they prepare to remove the bodies from the helicopter. As you can see, that the pressmen are getting ready to take the, the pictures as the ambulances come out. So we're just waiting on that to happen because we're not allowed into the landing area, as I mentioned earlier. So we're just waiting for them to come out. Mm -hmm. Now, Catherine, yes, you're not allowed into the area, but do you have word if we have any government officials on site right now? Catherine can, Catherine, can you hear me? I'm saying, we ha yes, you may, you're not allowed into the area, but do you have word if we have government officials on, on the ground right now? Sorry, Bonnie, you might have to repeat your question. I'm saying, do we have government officials at the Wilson Airport presently? Yes, we do. We have um, the police commissioner, Matthew Itera, who is here, who gave a statement just a few minutes ago, just explaining how um, he, he, he will, the matter will be, uh, uh, will be taken on by the police officials. Mm -hmm. That was, was covered by my part, partner, Isabella Kituri, on the other side of the airport. All right. But basically, what's, what, what's going on right now is that... Um, what they've said that they do not want pictures of, of certain uh, bodies uh, belonging to um, senior, senior officials of the police rank. I think first I should mention that the press have been completely disallowed from entering the landing zone. We had two cameras. We expected one to go into the landing zone. Everyone has been told they can't enter. There are suspicions that possibly the police don't want us to count the bodies of the people who they've brought down from Baragoy. But what we have right now is the bodies are about to leave. Two ambulances have left already and we're waiting for the, the, the lorry that is carrying the, the bodies that will be taken to a funeral home where they'll be prepared for burial. Well, Catherine, apart from the members of the press and of course the security officers and, and government officials, who else is there? We have family members who want to identify their loved ones. I mean, we just met a, a man recent, just now who said he wants to just look at a mark on one of the hands of his loved ones, just in case if, if that's the person um, that he's looking for. That means probably that the police haven't had a comprehensive talk to the family members who are here, who are also waiting, who have also been barred from going to the landing zone as well. And Catherine, uh, probably you haven't spoken to the government officials there and the people manning, but do you have an idea of what is the plan uh, after the, the bodies leave Wilson Airport? Um, so far, what uh, the Minister for Internal Security, Kato Ole Matito, said yesterday while he was visiting uh, Kenyatta National Hospital was that the government will take care of all hospital bills, whether the, the officers that, who are still alive are in Kenyatta National Hospital or at Maralal District Hospital. The government will also take up all the costs of the burial of, of all the um, officers, including the KPR um, officials who were killed on Saturday. And uh, just a confirmation, you said 24 bodies have been flown to the uh, Wilson Airport in Nairobi, correct? Yes, 24 bodies have been flown to Wilson Airport, but we can't confirm because we're not allowed into the landing zone. So we, we don't know whether it's more than that, we don't know whether it's less than that, because what, what we have from the ground, the numbers don't match with what the official numbers that we're being given by the police. Catherine, with the latest from Wilson Airport, but news is that the bodies of the slain policemen who were killed in Samburu have been flown into the Wilson Airport. Of course, people have been barred off uh, from getting into the landing zone, and uh, the, there is also information that the government is taking the full cost of the burial of uh, the, the, the slain police officers, but that is just what we have currently.
Katrina Mwanta is on the ground and will be briefing us, us and when she gets more information from what is happening. But news is that the bodies of the slain policemen from Samburu has been, have been brought to uh, the Wilson Airport in Nairobi. And we'll be giving you more of that as and when we receive it from the ground.